Hey guys, Alexander the Game here, and if you watched the last part, uh, we're here with this battle. Attacking some pathetic force that we just felt like completely obliterating because we are mean. And this is also probably the best river defense I have ever seen. Where's the actual river crossing? Here? <laughs> I could stick a light infantry unit in this building. And it would just put fire on there. Put some cannons here. Line infantry. Have another line infantry here. Pull the cannons back there, funneling in here. Great. And a bridge. Great fun. Great, great, great fun. Here's how it's gonna happen. We heard of uh, some small and pathetic. Uh, enemy army coming through this area likely looking to raid and uh, weaken supply lines in this area our army has been sent out to defeat this uh, said force only a portion of our army will be deployed That looks like a fortress. The Palvosk Grenadiers will occupy a building in the area where the general is located. I'm surprised there's nobody on the roof. Jeez. Think there's enough men lining the walls. Well, that's not what was planned to happen at all. Okay, but whatever. The Ulans and Cossacks. Realistically, I was going to send the Cossacks and the uh, Hazars crossed first, but my uh, Hazars were not deployed in position and my Cossacks were blood at the front. So my Cossacks and Ulans are scouting, and my Hussars are rallying and as reserves. I'm sending my Cossacks through quite slowly. If a cannonball was to come through here, it'd kill probably like 20 Cossacks. Besides the point. Bring the Cossacks across the river and form me up our combat positions. The enemy's 18-pounder long guns Are they shooting at my... Yeah, they are shooting at my general. That's not very nice. You're not supposed to do that kind of thing. Especially considering the fact that I have... Cavalry squadrons crossing your river. I would have thought your first priority would have been to... Uh, neutralize... Cavalry. Uh, positioning themselves across well on your side of the river the biggest threat the um, enemy army poses is these Delhi Lancer unit here where their captain is as well as the only mounted troop heavily outnumbering any cavalry force that we can field against them well Let's just say it would not be pretty if they got a surprise charge in some of our Cossacks. Oh, look at that. Their Armenian skirmishers are advancing. Huh. Bow-armed troops. My Cossacks are coming up into combat position. Getting excited and sending forth a, va a rally charge. 
into the enemy's position, suddenly the enemy's deli the enemy's lancers uh, arrived to thwart the charge, as well as the Armenian skirm another Armenian skirmisher unit turned to give heck to our forces. The Cossack cavalry is uh, winded at this point, but that's fine. Oh, huh. it appears one of the Armenian skirmishers is ignorant of its position and came far too close to some hussars. And going from a scouting force to the next meal of some hussars was ever so quick. What it originally seemed like an objective attack against the enemy skirmishers was quickly turned into a simple charge against the Delhi Lancers. Seeing as they are the greatest threat, for the most part the forces have engaged them. The Armenian skirmishers are not faring very well in melee combat where they are engaging the Cossacks or the Hussars. The enemy's 18-pounder artillery has been routed out the field with no losses to the uh, Ulans who sent them from packing. And only one Armenian skirmisher unit is left non-engaged. The Delhi Lancers are giving a run for the money of the cavalry that's engaging them, but they are losing badly. Some uh, skirmishers are giving a show for the Cossacks, but soon broke. Probably due to arrow support from. Uh, probably the Ulan Cossacks are taking such losses because the enemy's army and skirmishers were in position aiding them. Those skirmishers soon took a charge from a squadron of Ulans, routing them and butchering them. The enemy's army was completely butchered very efficiently. Uh, the battle was kind of a uh, waste of time. We lost 86 men. They lost their entire army. Let's check kills. Hazars, Ulans, Cossacks. Hazars, Ulans, Cossacks. Some other kills somehow. That's besides the point. Uh, some construction of good roads has finished. These line infantry will be returning to all the way up to Moscow to form up with the army that's being formed there. This army at Moscow will be led by uh, Levin August von Bensing or Count von Bensing. While um, the army at Kiev is left in the care of Fyodor Fedyotsky Boxhauden. Until either Boxhauden or Augustus arrives to uh, relieve Kutstov, he will not leave his position at the bridge. He feels like that there is no Ottoman field army that could threaten his position. If the Ottoman main army arrived, he feels he could hold the bridge, the river crossing, easily. Ottomans think that they can uh, make peace. I say no. No. Um. Fire in advance. No, no, no.
Uh, but he does feel that if he moves on to attack Istanbul, his army will be defeated. And marching out to take the Belgrade, or Greece, will severely uh, uh, um, have his army out of position and could feature in him being attacked by this massive army. Which is by information finally revealing that the bo that there's a significant amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guns. Eight batteries in there. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six of them being 18 pounders. Four Libyan Kugelu. Uh, one Tartar Bow Cavalry. Two Delhi Light Cavalry. And two C5 Heavy Lancer Cavalry. As well as a general. Two. Three, four irregulars, one militia unit, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven grandier level troops, eight grandier level troops of the Ottoman class, four marines, one, two, three, four, five, six units of Ottoman line troops. Well, let's go show them how so much artillery and they also have a bunch of cavalry. So we'll win in the, uh, um, in the straight up line battle. But the fact we'll be dealing with the enemy's cavalry in a way that'll free up my cavalry to defeat their artillery. Because my artillery is completely outclassed by theirs. Jeez. Uh, I, I, that's quite scary in artillery force that we'll have to deal with. Um, building completed. How much money are we making per turn? 5,000. Nifty. Um, soon this army will be on its feet and ready for deployment. Soon after that the drill... Oh no, it'll still be five turns after that the drill school will be done. Gustav hmm, is sending uh, messages urgently calling for forces to arrive from Kiev so that he may retreat to fully replenish. Not that he really needs it, but more for the point that he wants to get his veterans some rest. Also wanting to give the uh, fresh army from Kiev a taste of war before the Ottomans are completely broken and their job is just to simply head around and scoop up the Ottoman leftovers. Yum yum yum. Building completed, Grand Museum. Recruits. Mm-hmm. Income is down. And now Box Howden and his army are marching. Lots of Cossack cavalry. Very few Ulans, like only one Ulan. It's really weird how the game organizes. Yeah, you know, like it'll just like split them up and stuff. Really quite annoying. I'd like to be able to like group them uh, on the game like on the campaign map like this yeah as you can see I did like like I ordered them nice and tidy and this, this happened the artillery and no the never mind the artillery and cavalry are not in order Bucks Howden's army marches to war people are probably finally greatly pleased that Bucks Howden and his troops are no longer uh, there Troops continue to march north towards Moscow for us to form another army. Currently our only fully professional army is one under Kustov. 
Comparatively, the army under uh, Bucks Howden has no grenadiers or elite troops. In their place, militia. Yes, it's uh, greatly disappointing. The militia will fight greatly. I am sure of it. Great estates. No, no, that's in this province, yeah. Let's just go around and splurge some money on great estates. Let's just see quick if there's anything else I can build. I don't think there is. Secret Society Club. I know for some factions it unlocks troops that you can recruit. It's quite cool, actually. Um. Cool. We are beginning to see um, significant numbers of Ottoman, Ottoman troops in various smaller armies marching around. This could be a technique to try and get us out of position and chasing one stack of tr one force when, while another one comes and raids lands and another one, whatever, multiple come and attack Wallachia. Uh, fire in advance? I, um, not thinking so. A uh, nation destroyed Grand Duchy of Oldenburg. Current income, 5,400. Excellent. Um, army is marching. I think I'll save up to acquire this small star fort, as well as a permanent garrison there. Seems like something that the Russians would do. Kostov is now heading back to uh, Moldavia, while Buxhauden is heading in to attack the great dry dock harbor at Rumela. At Burgas. Sorry. His objective is to uh, take out the naval production capabilities of the harbor there. To hinder any capabilities the Ottomans might have of producing ships in the area. Uh, that's about it. Kustov has no other orders. So by all means, he could do whatever he wanted else with his time and men. Hopefully he, uh, selects something slightly wise to do with his forces, but not holding out much, uh, hope here. More likely, I believe Bucks Howden's army will be defeated in the field, or defending the Dry Dock, or attacking the Dry Dock, or whatever. But if a second Ottoman army masses and attacks Bucks Howden when he's this close, quite possibly also reinforced by the main army, Bucks Howden will be screwed and will be un incapable of doing anything to stop our forces or their forces. It looks like France is having a lot of trouble fighting Austria. That's uh, not a good sign. That means that Austria is strong. And oh, was it a field battle? This is their main army coming out to attack us. The numbers are swinging a little in our favor. Plus, we'll get the defensive terrain. Bucks Howden is confident that he can defeat his enemy, the enemy's commander. Even though the enemy's cavalry forces well outnumber both in units and in size of his, as well as their artillery, outqualitying him in most parts, as well as outnumbering him, the enemy's skirmishers in total, probably more or equal to, but also of lesser quality and lesser training and less discipline and morale. The enemy's infantry lacking in bayonets, but also outnumbering him in professional troops. 
plus Ottoman troops are very highly disciplined. Hehe. <laughs> Okay, is there any decent hilly deployment areas? I could deploy a force here. Um, I want to tell you guys a little bit of something. I tend not to think of battles with Darth Maud on as a single engagement, but more as a series of engagements. Kind of like a game of chess. Uh, and thus, due to that opinion, that is what my uh, defensive strategy here is based upon. Um, leaving a gap here, I feel is not wise. Here we'll deploy this unit. Uh, this unit claiming the last position on the line. Forming such a degreed angle here. No. Probably shouldn't do something so radical. Something like this. Seems so much more realistic. Of a formation. I can force them to break up their infantry. I can smash each individual section of their infantry much easier. But I don't know. I might find that fairly uh, difficult. Uh, for the most part, my troops have a slight hill that they are on, forming a combat position along here. I could deploy a mass of militia here, but that's just a waste of space. Here, we'll deploy skirmishers here instead. Um... Here we go. Oh, that's not facing that way. So no, never mind. This position here, on the other hand, will make a fine artillery emplacement. And thus Bucks Howden deployed the extent, or the main extent, of his light artillery at that position. There. This hill here, he is dubbed his command hill. And this is the last hill to be retreated from. This is also where his foot artillery, the only artillery that he might fear having to leave behind. Naming at his command position will encourage his troops to fight. The last man to try and hold the artillery park here. The 
play these cannons carefully and in a way where they will be less likely to shoot each other to pieces. Bucks Howden taking up his own personal position here. As well as two infantry units of the line to attempt to hold this position for him. This great big plains area here. He is elected to deploy the extent of his light cavalry. Light lancer cavalry, the Cossacks. This line here. Him to his next defensive plan to deploy and defend this position here. More as an irritation than anything else, he is deploying the significant bulk of his skirmish troops in this area. More as an annoyance position than anything else. To aid it in not falling, he has deployed 1,000 militias, militiamen. I still have to rename this army. I'll do that off camera though. At forward point will be held there. This regiment will come forward some here. This hill ridge line here. Hill ridge line. Significantly back here will be held by another thousand militiamen as well as a pairing of regulars regular line infantry this hill position here and an eight of them. Yep. Yeah. And to aid this entire front, deployed to this sector, the extent of the remaining light horse artillery. Uh, what combat troops have I not yet deployed? This. This them and this uh, let's see what I have here it looks like three infantry units and three cavalry units what position could use some infantry let's deploy them over here um, to what extent will I be deploying them here uh, unit here, two units here, something like that. Seems good. My Ulans will deploy off to this flank of the cavalry here. Granted, Bucks Howden has heard all the warnings that Kustov could have given him about the cavalry his capabilities that the uh, Ottomans can the capability of the cavalry that the Ottomans can field as well as the number in which the cavalry is being fielded in this army he has taken that mm, as it appears, not into consideration, having his most forward position completely undefended by cavalry, and uh, not defended at all by any infantry that could form a square. And the only artillery coverage is from two batteries of light cannons that have poor firing capabilities on that point. Uh, that'll be the end of this, this episode. Now. Come back next time for the rest of the fight. See you guys next time. This is Alexander the Gamer. 
and I hope you have a good day.